Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm Fav. And I'm Rome. And today we are finishing up of Ruby Volume 1 with the OST. Uh, I know there's more songs on the actual song, uh, soundtrack itself. Uh, we are specifically just going for full songs in general for this. So we are going to be covering uh, This Will Be The Day, Red Like Roses Part 1 and 2, uh, Mirror Mirror, From Shadows, Gold, I May Fall, and Wings. Um, before we jump into that, uh, I know that uh, from our last video when we did, reacted to 1516, we, uh, uh, during the end credits, we, we did give a mention to music. We didn't really touch base on that video. We wanted to touch it on here because we knew we were going to be reacting to the soundtrack. We had multiple individuals ask us to review uh, the OST for this, and we wanted to show our, uh, our respect uh, that we appreciate all the comments and suggestions that our subscribers have given us by my doing this. A um, little backstory or a little uh, just a little history on uh, OST and everything. All the music composed in Ruby is done by uh, is composed by Jeff Williams. Mm -hmm. um, majority of the songs are sung by his daughter. Um, Jeff is a multi-instrumentalist. Uh, he is known f mostly for guitar. Okay. Uh, he does know how to play bass and uh, and uh, piano or a uh, keyboardist. Or sorry, he he knows how to play a uh, keyboard as well. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, the first song that we're going to get into this will be the day. Okay. Is before it was heard as an intro. Uh, you actually hear it in volume one when uh, uh, Roman Torchwick was entering into the shop and Ruby was just. Uh, Okay. You know, okay. listening to it in yep. the process. So we uh, we had a little teaser of it before we actually got to hear uh, mm. just uh, how the intro was going to be for Volume One. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Uh, so with that, yeah. this is. Uh, I'm. Yeah. yeah no, I'm, no, that's okay. Uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing the songs. I'm a huge music lover and stuff like that. So I have been uh, yeah. wanting to cover the soundtrack for this for quite some time. So let's get to it. Absolutely. Let's get to it. Okay, without okay. further ado, we're going to start with This Will Be The Day, and we're going to begin in 3, 2, 1...
Alrighty. So, what's your uh, what's your thoughts for the opening on that? Uh, well, I thought the like, song was brilliant. Yeah. Um, so you said Jeff is his name. Jeff. He does the guitar he, in this in the soundtrack. Yeah. Jeff most it's does amazing. majority of the guitar and everything. My His God. solos are incredible. Oh yeah, no, super super talented. Like he's just he he rocks. Like he's <laughs> awesome. Um, do you know who plays any of the other instruments? Uh, I do not. I know that. I do know that it was his daughter who lent the vocals and everything. Okay. And yeah. when this was first recorded, she was 13. Okay. So oh, were you saying that? So pretty cool for uh, someone at that age to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna lend my voice to uh, oh, a gosh, series. Oh yeah. gosh, Oh no, I mean, and, she she sounds super mature too. Like I would never have guessed at that time that it was a 13 year old singing the song, uh, which you said she is also the voice of Ruby, right? Is uh, that the same no, girl? Um, no. No, the voice of Ruby uh, is Lindsay Jones. In, in okay. Volume One, she wasn't married to uh, to Michael Jones yet. Uh, okay. She, uh, uh, Lindsay uh, Tubby or T T U B B E Y. Okay. Okay. So uh, I guess I, I was asking for the other uh, band members because uh, yeah. the drummer, yeah. like the drums in the song, were just. I yeah. mean. Yeah. Um, my god, I was like blown away, blown away. Yeah, yeah. The, whoever was playing the drums, just you know what, incredible. I'll, I'll, incredible. Uh, I'll look it up right now and everything. Okay. Yeah. Just, you know, when you have a favorite instrument, I love the drums. I play drums myself. I'm, you know, no pro or anything, but I always tend to seem to kind of like listen for uh, the drum beats and stuff like that. And I really, you know, kind of resonate with it. And I just thought he was fantastic. No, I think it, I think it was Jeff Williams as well. I think he's also the. Uh, I think he also did the uh, the drums for it. Okay. Well, anyways, the uh, <clears throat> going to the actual song and everything. We uh, wanted to get a lyric video uh, as much as we want to jam out and everything uh, to just the music in general. Still, it's nice to hear what the actual lyrics are at the same time. Oh yeah. Uh, generally, in Ruby music and everything, it has a general theme that goes either towards characters or towards uh, okay. story setting and all that. Mm -hmm. This will be the day. Um, you know, ult ultimately, like it's uh, it's a way of saying this is a, this is a new beginning. So yep. it's the day that we open up the door. Yep. It's the day that like a uh, dream that was of yours and everything is going to become a reality in that sense. I think that's what was the main uh, point away is that Ruby was given the opportunity to walk through the doors of Beacon and everything, and uh, uh, advance two years beyond her time. But this isn't a time when uh, you're a, a small and helpless or a child and everything. It's the time mm -hmm. when you actually get to show what kind of person you are going to be. And I thought it was it was perfect. It was such a great song for the moment. Like I thought it just it really opened up the uh, the series very well. So uh, yeah, loved it a lot. Shall we uh, shall we continue with uh, the next one? Yeah. yeah. Well, so let's move on to track number two, our, uh, which is what? What are we listening to now? Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's go with Ruby's uh, let's go with Ru Ruby's main theme and then. Uh, part two of uh, of Red Like Roses. We'll do it as a as one entire. Sure. Well, I like that they added the uh, the trailer in this one as well. At least so you can still see other ones for the music. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
in another minute Couldn't bear another day without you in it All of the joy that I had known for all my life Was stripped away from me the minute that you died To have you in my life was all I ever wanted But now without you I'm a soul forever haunted Can't help but feel that I had taken you for granted No way in hell that I could never comprehend this first because all it really was was uh, uh, mainly just the four lines and everything. Yep. Um, sure you piece together, as we're saying, for uh, for Red Like Roses, that's obviously talking about Ruby. Yes. Uh, white is Cold and Yearning, mm -hmm. uh, Always Yearning, uh, Burning by a Royal Test, that's obviously yep. Weiss. Mm -hmm. uh, Black Descends the Beasts that Come from Shadow, yep. Blake, mm -hmm. and Yellow Beauty, Burns Gold, that would be Yang. Uh, with that being, like, that was first heard from, uh, uh, you know, Ruby Red trailer. That was obviously just a discussion as well was to come for the yes. other three trailers in the process. Um, the guitar on that, uh, for the beginning, I I want to say it almost sounded like it was a mandolin at first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. yeah, it did. It, it just sounded very, uh, uh, 
music wise very barbish not 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 Barbara guys I know what you're going with there but <laughs> <laughs> god damn it Barb um, <laughs> no I I honestly liked how it just kind of it, it sounds peaceful at first but then afterwards uh, it kind of feels like it's very piratey <laughs> it, it did. It did have a very piratey kind of a feeling in the middle there a little bit, and I was like, oh, all right, it's okay. Yeah. I kind I of like, don't mind that at all. I thought it was awesome. I was like, all right, we're ready for a sword fight. Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, uh, the beat is insane. Like, I couldn't even wrap my head around, like, let's say how fast it was going to, at certain points that I actually feel like I'm on an adrenaline yeah. rush right now because of just how yeah. powerful the song is. Yeah. And again, they... They captured the moment and the music perfectly. Yeah. I thought it was great. Uh, now, I believe the backup vocals was Jeff himself. Okay. So Jeff actually did lend I his could, voice I, I heard that in there. That uh, so he took over the second verse yeah. and everything. I believe when we first watched, uh, you know, when we first recorded episode eight, mm -hmm. um, I, I think I, I spoke then about the lyrics, or it was during, a, I know it was one of the episodes when, when we were off camera, I was talking mm -hmm. about a bit of the music uh, towards it, and, uh, from the beginning of the trailer in Ruby Red, you see that Ruby's kind of standing over a grave and everything, and yes. uh, you could see it in the video that we were watching, uh, it read Summer Rose. Now, it hasn't been mentioned yet in the series from what we've seen so far, but it, Summer Rose was Ruby's mother. Okay. And I think this is, for part two, it's really powerful to say that, you know, if you want to be your own person, if you mm -hmm. want to... Uh, if you want to do things in terms of being a huntress and everything, uh, you know, I think it's just her mother's word saying, you know, by all means, do it your way. Mm -hmm. Don't do it like how I did because I was never, I never came back. Oh, okay. And I, I feel like that was the overall, Aww. the overall meaning behind it. Is that if you want to follow your dreams, by all means, go for it. You've, for sure. You've got the potential to. Oh, yeah. Just whatever you do, don't make a promise that you can't keep in the, mm -hmm. on the way and all that. And, of course, Ruby obviously missed her mother. I'm pretty sure if anyone lost her mother, they'd feel that way as well. Oh, yeah. Um, this one was pure for for guitar on its own. <laughs> yeah, I... Incredible. Incredibly, incredible talent. Just in... Where... Do you know where he's from? Do you know I, where Jeff is from? I believe he was originally from Texas. Oh, from I, Texas. I, I cool. Could, like that, well, obviously, like their their headquarters is in Texas and okay, everything. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, can I find it? Now, on besides there? the soundtrack, did Jeff have anything to do with the show at all? Like, as far mm. like not besides the I, soundtrack? Not that I know of. I think he was mainly just asked for music. He he was working with Rooster Teeth uh, before Ruby was made because he, okay. he gave the mu he gave a a lot of music to. Uh, the first web series of Rooster Teeth called Red vs. Blue. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, they, so they've like, known him or they've known yeah. of him before. And abs absolutely. Yeah, because, like, I mean, it's just he's he's perfect. Yeah. Did a great job. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah. I will find out oh, for, yeah. for Jeff. Yeah, that's all right. Um, okay, so I guess with that, uh, we'll continue on. We're now going to go into uh, Weiss's music. Yes. Uh, which is Mirror Mirror. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get that queued up, right. and I guess we will begin in three two, one.
can definitely see voice in that. I want to say majority of voice is that she wants to show class and elegance at the same time. Like, regardless of what we may think of the character in the volume and everything as being kind of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, but, but uh, like I said, it's some form of elegance that uh, she will still have yeah. and everything. She still wants to present herself as someone who, you know, wants to be seen uh, appropriately in, in that matter and all that. Yes. Um, so the, the piano and everything, I, I love how it just, oh, you can beautiful. hear the high notes and everything and it just yeah. sounds like it, everything is just falling apart in the process. Yeah, the, yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah it's, that, it was gorgeous. That gorgeous. I, I, I start from the trailer and everything, uh, she, she did feel like uh, there, there's a part of her that uh, on the outside she wants to be uh, she, she, it's kind of like she's putting on a mask for people, but on the inside she mm -hmm. wants to be who she, like, she, she's uh, unveiling who she really wants to be in that process. Yes. Um, you can feel, just in, in, in the music itself and in the song, like, you can feel her emotional kind of, like, ups and downs. Like, you can, you can just kind of really feel what she's going through. She's, she's kind of, like, I don't know, holding herself in for some reason, but... Yeah. There's there's a whole bunch to her that I think uh, that I can't wait to find out anyways because yeah. I feel like there's a lot more to find out about oh, her. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it just this, it was great. The, the yeah. soundtrack was was wonderful. It's beautiful. So beautiful I, song. I like how it's the difference in everything between Ruby's music and Weiss's music and everything. Yep. With Ruby, it's more your you can have a, you can have some soft tunes or like soft tempos of guitar and everything yep. in there. But then you can totally go out and rock a shit in, in that sense. Mm -hmm. And with uh, uh, with Weiss, her her softness is just done as a piano and everything. And afterwards, you can bring in uh, uh, like an orchestra just to bring in uh, yeah. like when she's ready to, to be serious in that sense. Uh, yeah, Jeff did a, a beautiful job capturing the uh, the emotion behind yeah. her and. Uh, the song was beautiful, yeah. just beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. So with that, I think we should get into uh, our next one. Okay. Uh, what do we got next? We got from Shadows, which is Blake's theme. Okay. Okay. Give it up. Absolutely. All right. So let's get to this. We're going to hear Shadows now, and uh, let's do that. Yep. Three, two.
Okay, so, uh, so that was Blake's theme, and a little bit of uh, Adam in there as well. Yes, yes. Um, I mean, I only was introduced to him in the trailer, so I, is he going to be in season two or volume two, uh, or when does he come into play? I think his first appearance is volume three. So, okay, okay. Um, I'm really interested and curious to see who he is, and well, he's very mysterious. <laughs> very mysterious. Well, uh, going into uh, the lyrics on this and everything, um, Blake's theme all around, you can tell, uh, not just for the fact of her, her semblances of creating shadow projections of herself. Yeah, you can, you know, I kind of got that whole vibe from the lyrics as well, just about, um, you know, her being an outcast because she is different. Yeah. You know, and this uh, gentleman here, this mysterious man, is he a faunist too? <laughs> yes, he is. Ha. Yeah. And what is he? Uh, Are you going to tell his me? His last name is Taurus, so I'm going to assume that, you know... What's his last name? Taurus. Okay. So I'm going to, well, I, I can tell from the horns and everything that he has uh, on his head and everything. It's covered in his red hair, oh, but okay. you, can, you can see it. I can't remember what kind of faunus uh, he is at the moment. That's I, okay. I actually forget. I kind of had a feeling that he was, yeah. so oh, I can't wait to see that character's involvement in the show. <laughs> Yay! I'm going to tell him. Don't you dare. Uh, what else do I have here? Um, the music, uh, again... Jeff just completely, completely captures the character in it. It reminded me a lot when the song first started of The Prodigy. Do you remember The Prodigy? Yep. Very like fast tempo, okay. you know, fast beats, just like the notes are like yep. one after the other, no space, no nothing. It's just like, yeah. it's crazy, yeah. crazy adrenaline music. From Shadows is probably my favorite out of the entire soundtrack of Volume 1. Mm -hmm. um, because, so far I have to say me too. I'm yeah. kind of really, really, really liking this track. Um, the, the vibe I get, like, just uh, coming into the end of it all. Yep. Um, the last time I've ever heard, like, just a, a soft, like, uh, sort of, like, mellow vibe on piano and everything, mm -hmm. the last time I ever heard a song like that was Brand Band 3000's Drinking in L.A. Oh, gosh, yeah. yes. Just, <laughs> yes. Right? And just, like, you, you can just find... Uh, a calmness within uh, within the chaos. You can, and it's funny that you say that because one of my last notes here uh, is about the ending of the song, <laughs> and the the piano. It just it was it was mesmerizing. Like yeah. I kind of just got lost, and you know I started envisioning what was happening between those two characters. Like at that moment, it just there's a like sadness there. Yeah. You know of you know they're they're apart. In the trailer, you see him leaving, um, and he obviously. Well, you know, is a big part in, in Blake's life. So, you know, you can just feel, you felt that sadness and that, and that, you know, it's, the piano was just, it was, it was brilliant. Well, it, it was more in the trailer that Blake was leaving him. It's more the opposite way in that you have everything right Well, he, everything he was leaving her in the trailer, wasn't it? Didn't no, he like, go off on a train or she did? Yeah, she, she did. She that's cut, right. She cut the cable car and told him goodbye. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yes. That was, but you can feel that oh, in yeah. the ending of this song. And it's like, yeah. It's so like heartbreaking because I remember watching the trailer and not knowing who these characters were whatsoever, yeah. but that part, that moment when she, you know, cut that tie and, and, and went on her way, it was just, it, it well, felt something. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh my God, yeah. like it felt well, something. Well, at the same, uh, at the same time, um, uh, in the last episode that we saw, Blake did mention uh, the group that she was with called the White Fang. Yes. Originally they were... You know, they wanted to get their message across in a way that wasn't violent and everything. They wanted to be seen as equal just with uh, their voice alone and everything. Yes. And they felt like they were actually making a, a cause and or they were making a difference. But then when violence turned out to be a better answer, a better solution and everything, yeah. she started to not really like the approach that was going on. She didn't want to be respected out of fear. She wanted to be respected as an equal. I remember you kind of briefly telling me about this after we did uh, the video for this trailer yeah um because you were saying because i think i asked you well why why did they part why did yeah. they part ways and you did mention something about their differences in in how they want to approach yeah i guess the fighting or or whatever the case well, may be but you did you did mention that you know that she didn't want to go that that route yeah. that that he was so. he was going but um just i'm, I'm loving the soundtrack so far and <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to like probably like 
download these songs and you know get them onto get them onto my I phone will, or something so I can I, listen to them all the time. No, I'll, I'll definitely uh, I'll uh, I'll get a copy and everything because I I still um I've been meaning to collect the last couple soundtracks and everything. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I I am going to uh, definitely purchase it and everything. I want to still contribute to Ruby because the music alone. Uh, no matter what, I always feel that Ruby has something for everyone. It um, really does. It okay? really does. If, if you if you don't like the story, maybe you like the characters. If you don't like the characters yeah. or the story, maybe you like the music. It's maybe. it's wonderful. And the the creator of the show, Monty. Um, yeah, he uh, shit. I had hold on. I had a question in my mind that I just it totally like went in and out. Um, if it comes like, back to me, I'll, I'll say like, it. Uh, after this, uh, after the soundtrack, I wouldn't mind getting recording the. Well, to put in perspective, we're recording this on thirty first January. Tomorrow would be, uh, I believe it's six years now since Monty passed. And six years. I think it's. Oh wow. Yeah, six years since Monty passed. Yeah. And I would love to get Rome up to volume two, chapter eight, and everything. Fans, you know why for that specific episode and everything. Um, here you go doing this to me again. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this? I would love to just get that in a way to say this is a tribute. Like, uh, I, I will say, uh, Volume 2, Chapter 8 was the most uh, tribute, uh, the, the biggest tribute to how Monty's style was, not just for combat. Uh, but also just for what he was also known for. I won't give it away. I want you to okay, get to Okay, because I was going to ask you. <laughs> I'm like, well, what? Uh, yeah, other, other fans have been asking, like, how do I uh, how do I not spoil Rome and everything? I don't. I just, I do my best to give as No, much this is what he does. Is he, <laughs> you know, he gives me these little, like, you know, hints and stuff like that. That drive me crazy. Yeah. I, and I can't wait to watch There's it. nothing wrong with giving incentive to <laughs> want to hype someone for it. Oh, no, if for I'd, sure. Yeah. If I were to be like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Take whatever favorite show you have that. It's not your favorite show. This is your <laughs> favorite show. You're not supposed to have a favorite child, but Ruby is your favorite child, and you're not afraid to tell it. Okay? That's... That's not how I do things, okay? Yeah, I, no, I you're, you are you're pretty good at um, <laughs> at building up the anticipation for yeah. for the shows and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, we we'll we'll get to uh, we'll get to a few episodes tonight, yeah. maybe. Okay, but with that, we've been getting a little off track and everything. Uh, okay. Let's get back to the music and all that. We're going to continue now with Yang's song. Okay. Uh, or at least the, the first of her songs in here. She actually got two in here. She got two. She, okay. she got two. Um, so the first one is going to be I Burn. Okay. Uh, we're just going with the actual song as well, featuring Lamar Hall. We're not going to go with the remix. We're not going to go with the trailer. We're going to go straight with that alone with okay. it. So. If you want to have us do a reaction for a remix or anything additional on that, let us know in the comments down below, and we'll add it in for a future video specifically just for you guys, all right? As long as you subscribe to the channel. Ah, uh, but with that, yes. uh, yeah, we'll get into I Burn. Okay. Uh, you're probably just noticing a lighting difference right now. We had to get some lights on and everything. We had to actually turn on our uh, uh, camera light that we normally use for YouTube videos, only because it's starting to get a little dark in our area. We've been recording... <laughs> We've, we've been doing videos now for how many how many hours? Uh, About two or three hours? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but anyways, without further ado, we're going to be getting into I Burn featuring uh, Lamar, uh, Lamar, uh, sorry, Lamar Hall, yeah. and we're going to begin in three, two, one. <laughs>
Pyromaniac, my desire. Thought that you could see the truth till I just burned down the booth. Human torch can't mess with me. Johnny Blaze, suspect B. Scorch him quick, lightning fast, melting britches down to ash. Gasoline, kerosene, strike a match, ignite the scene. Things will never be the same. Feel the fury of my flame. Beg for mercy, it won't help. Embrace the ending you were dealt. Seems you chumps will never learn. Now sit back and watch me burn. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this was from her trailer. Yep. This one here. Okay. Uh, I do recall a little bit of it. I, yeah. For some reason, I just I couldn't remember the song, but uh, it uh, it definitely again is so the character. Um, did Jeff write the lyrics for the Jeff? Did uh, composing for it, and he also wrote the lyrics. He he did all the writing for all the songs. I would love to see him actually jam out to oh. to the song. Like the guitar in here is just like. It's mad. Yeah. Like, it's I, mad. I, I love it. I was going to make a comment on that as well. Like, on uh, on other songs, like, you can hear, like, he just loves to friggin' wail. Uh, yeah. And everything. He, he is no stranger to that whammy bar. Um, no, 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 he's not. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, so, with, with these lyrics and everything, um... You can tell Yang's just always uh, prepared for a fight and everything. Yep. She's she I, I have written down here what I can tell just by the, the music. She her, takes no shit. Yeah. Let's just put it that way, okay? That's what I've written down. Seriously, I'm like, she takes no shit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, very, uh, very good uh, rendition of her character through through the music. It's yeah. amazing. Uh, Lamar Hall. Um, I'm going to have to say, like, okay, putting the music aside because the music is an chapter all in its own but he took the song yeah yeah lamar yeah does multiple uh like multiple uh, features with uh with uh uh ruby music and everything throughout the volume so no matter what i think it's just like a rule of thumb or something that like every volume is going to have one song that features lamar hall at some right <laughs> no that's great though because uh now is he um associated with rooster teeth as well or was I, he just a uh someone I, I, they found i can't remember i think he was just a, a supporting artist and everything okay um they they generally pull artists from time to time to uh to come in and uh either lend their voice or just lend a, a bit of talent along with it as uh okay. with the show uh, with the music itself. Well, they hit um, the jackpot with him because... Yeah. Now, yeah. this is actually the non-explicit version from what he originally said, so... Ooh. Oh, there's a... <laughs> there's a uh, X-rated version. <laughs> uh, I figured we might as well just make this family-friendly. Ruby was originally intended to be a family-friendly show. Oh, okay. So I figured we might as well just go with that theme as well. No, it's that, it, um, it was great. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But with that, that's uh, that's a reaction for I burn or yeah. uh, discussion on it. Um, so I who got next? I think we're gonna go into the other uh, Yang song. And everything. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's uh, this one. With them. This one is called Gold. Yeah. I won't. I won't really say anything about it. I just wanna. Okay. I, I, I want you to just have the unbiased opinion of it all. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna queue up Gold okay. and uh, yeah. Anyways, okay. we're gonna continue on. Uh, this is our reaction for Gold, and we're gonna begin in three, two, one.
gold. It, it's the best way to put it is that it's more cheerful than what we're you're used to hearing for the rest of the soundtrack and everything. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah. Completely different. Yeah. Um, it sort of had like a very retro '70s kind yeah. of disco yes. disco vibe to it. Yes, like it, did. it, it was not. I was not expecting that. Yeah. And that was still the same composer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a change. Yeah. It was. It, it was, was awesome though. I, I really liked the different. I mean, I, I, I love rock music, don't get me wrong, yeah. you know, rock through and through, but that yeah. was just, it was pleasantly yeah. different I, and nice, like, I liked it. I, I enjoy when uh, uh, composers can show, like, you know, they have a main attribute and everything, but yeah. they're not afraid to, like, go into something completely different. No! Uh, like, when an artist, uh, you know, that may be known for uh, uh, doing like absolute like say heavy metal covers in, uh, or yep. heavy metal in general and then goes into something either like classical or just something that's like completely off their set and everything they still keep the same style yeah uh, like their same like format of how they do things but they they're able to still turn that song into something that's completely uh not everything uh, a better example that would be like how a postmodern jukebox does their stuff and everything yes uh, yes taking a taking modern day songs and uh, bringing them through the ages and everything. Absolutely true. No, I mean, I would never have guessed if, if I had to that it was the same composer. Mm -hmm. um, but what what amazing talent. Like, yeah. I just, I really, I really liked uh, just the whole uh, feel of the song. And yeah. uh, it was, it was really, it was really, like you said, it was uh, up, upbeat and, and happy and yeah. different. Yeah. The other ones, yeah. I... I think most people still consider it a, a Yang song because, mm -hmm. you know, you can definitely hear that this is, I feel like this is just like the proud sister yes. Yang coming through and mm -hmm. everything. She can have a moment where she's an absolute badass and able to, you know, beat the crap out of everybody. Yeah. But she is still going to be a very cheerful person at the same time and this song just kind of captures that yeah. uh, to a <laughs> That's team. exactly it. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so with that we got two more to go. Two um, more, okay. Uh, so the next one we're going to get into, uh, the title is called I May Fall. I May Fall. Uh, this song, I think, is the only song, really, in terms of lyric-wise from Casey that they bring back in a later volume. Okay. Are you absolutely ready for this? Yes. Okay. Let's do it up. All right.
something that no one else can. And the path that we've taken will lead us one final stand. There's a moment we'll make a decision not to cower and crash on the ground. The moment we face our demons, our courage found. When we stand with friends and we won't retreat. And we stand down, down, and the taste is sweet. I may fall, but not like this. It won't be by your hand. I may fall, and this fight's not today. I may fall, bring it all. It's not enough to take me down. I may fall, I may fall, I may fall, I may fall. I may fall. Okay, so that was <coughs> I May Fall. Yes. Uh, once again, Jeff is just amazing when it comes to that guitar and, and everything. And he um, sings in that song as well. Is I that believe, him? I believe it's him. I I, I, I see at times people mention that it's uh, it's Lamar Hall again, but huh. I I'm still unsure on that. I'll uh, I'll, I'll double check Absolutely. later on and everything. Um, I I don't know. I have to kind of say I think this has become now my new favorite track so far. I may, I may fall. Yeah, I really yeah. like it. I really mm -hmm. I really okay. like the. Uh, the duo yeah. in there, so... Yeah. So, uh, this uh, this track alone really comes into play in the third volume. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, it's more, like, it's more recognized in the third volume, but for uh, some unknown, unknown reason they decided, yeah, we'll put this in uh, the first volume soundtrack okay. and everything. They just never got around to, I think, using it, but they oh. just wanted to release it. Oh, okay. Um, I was just gonna ask that. Yeah, I, th right. I think it was in one of the credits uh, near the end somewhere. No less. Uh, oh, I liked it. Absolutely. Oh, the song okay. was great. <laughs> so with that, uh, we got one left to go. One more. Okay. Yeah. So this is okay. uh, this song is called Wings. Wings. Okay. And this was the ending theme that played uh, during the last episode in the end credits and everything. Okay. So I know we didn't really get to have a good listen to it because no. we, were, we were talking over. Yes. We wanted to get through the episode yeah. and everything. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Yeah. Yeah. So. So let's get started. Absolutely. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's begin. It's not a long time When you're waiting For a small sign Patience It's hard to find Shadows Seem to fill your life Don't be disappointed Don't let your heart break don't spend another minute in this way it's okay
So you should do something funny like it'd be like I'm like falling asleep on you because the song was so pretty yeah. and I'm like oh shit <laughs> yeah no that it was a very like calming song and it everything. was um I know I said this the last track but I think I have any <laughs> oh my god um from from the first note in that song yeah. like I I could feel my eyes kind of yeah. tearing up a little bit and yeah. I'm like oh my god so this was definitely paying homage to um, uh, conversations between Weiss and Blake in the last uh, two episodes and everything. Yep. Um, I, I was trying not to... I, I had a bit of a smirk when it uh, mentioned the song 12 Hours because I was just thinking, oh yeah, that's how long Weiss had to, you know, think about what she really wants to say to Blake in, in the yes. very end of the episode Yes. and all that. Uh, I, I really liked the uh, the style with this. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed in it. You could actually hear maracas in it. I I noticed a few like a couple different instruments being introduced uh, to this track here. Uh, I didn't. I don't know if I if I heard I, I was that, just like, but now I'm gonna like re-listen for it. But yeah. it, it it was it's a, it was a beautiful song. Very yeah. like I said, it was very like you could, I could feel myself like while watching. I was just kind of like breathing really heavy, and I'm just like. It's, it, it just kind of hit me, and I'm like, okay, I'm like, that's how you know when a song is good. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Uh, but... <laughs> Did you <hear> uh, <laughs> uh, But with that, that concludes our, uh, our reaction and review for the soundtrack of Ruby yes. Volume 1. Uh, if there's any songs in particular that you wanted us to still listen to from the track that was a remix, or whatnot, just let us know in the comments down Absolutely. below, and uh, we'll we'll give a personal shout out for it as well. Uh, but with that, no, I had a I had a lot of fun. I uh, uh, yeah. you know I'm again music is a huge passion of mine, and I couldn't yeah. wait to get to this uh, segment of the uh, of the uh, the uh, Ruby uh, Ruby reaction. stuff uh, Ruby yeah. reactions, yeah, yeah. and uh, and I I just I had a lot of fun. I really really enjoyed it. Yeah, really did. <laughs> So with that, I think we are ready to start Volume 2. Yes! <laughs> so anyways guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next video. Absolutely guys, take care. Have a good one. Bye.